Welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy YouTube channel. If you want to learn audio engineering from top to bottom, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you know every single week when we release a new tutorial. Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be about Autotune Pro and using it for any type of vocal. Autotune gets that rep to where you think it's only the hard autotune like you hear in rap songs. Uh, certain pop songs and stuff. I'm going to give you examples of all different ways you can tune a vocal with, with auto-tune and the fl flexibility it really has. It really has an incredible flexibility if you know how to tweak it. So, okay, first off, I before I even get out auto-tune, I need to know the key of the song, okay? Knowing the key is, is huge because if you don't know the key, it's not going to do its job it will take you to just different notes that aren't in the key and it will sound very ugly. So with Autotune Pro, they give you auto key right here. Now I've always just used an app on my phone, but some people don't know how to find the key. Uh, the thing I like to do is just find the unison, which is like, you know, you can just kind of, I mean, I've played guitar and stuff, so I, I kind of know what the unison sounds like, but finding the root note or the unison and then scaling it up to see if it's major or minor, you would know that on the third interval. But uh, besides all that, they give you this free so you can, you know, just play it, put this right on the beat or the instrumental or the bust instrumental, I should say. Cool, looks like it's B major. And it's got this cool little send to autotune feature. So I'm just going to keep this plugin up. You can click that red dot there, target, and that will stay up. So I'm going to open on the vocal. And bring out autotune pro. So now you can put this on low latency. Okay, now you can hit send to auto tune, and there you go. It makes it B major. Okay, so a couple things, a lot of things. There's a lot going on in auto tune, but retune speed is the biggest factor usually, whether you want it natural or more. Uh, hard and obvious so a rule of thumb here is from from halfway and back it's very natural and then from halfway and forward to the lower numbers it starts to get more hard so okay input type we will put it at um, keep it we'll put it on alto and B major, we got that. So let's play with this some. So we're set to the right key. So obviously, you know that sound. It's very hard auto tune. Let's dial it back some. But next to you, can't believe this shit. See, even when you get to 30. Uh, see the older auto tunes, 30 was not that aggressive, but with this new auto tune, it's pretty aggressive until you get way back. So, but next to you, can't believe. Listen to the word can't. But next to you, can't believe. But next to you, can't believe this shit. So once you get around here, like I said, but next to you, can't believe this. Shit. It's a lot smoother. Uh, you can use flex tune and humanize. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. Don't have to. Now, Flex Tune lets it be off a little bit, you know? So, I really like to use my ears when I'm using Flex Tune and just make sure it's, it's still tuning. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. But yeah, it just adds some more natural 
uh, elements to it right there. Right next to you, can't believe this shit is real. Don't have to fake as natural. Yeah, so flex tune, as it says, uh, lets it have more uh, deviation for expressive purposes. Okay, so that is going to be something you just have to use your ears and play with. But next to you, human eyes can can do the same type of thing. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. Don't have to fake as natural. So human eyes basically makes it where like held out notes. Once auto tune sees that it's a held out note, it will like let off on the tuning. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. See vibrato here. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. So obviously way, way, way too. But extreme. next to you, can't believe this. But next to you, can't believe this shit. See, that really makes it jump. Uh, I would probably only use natural vibrato, at least in this case, uh, for, you know, if you're going to automate it. Or if you're going for that effect. So, say I crank up this retune speed. Retune speed is going to affect how these other things work, so. But next to you, can't believe this shit is So, not too great. I mean, some styles of music, kind of uh, some R&B and stuff, uh, like to do that. But sometimes it's best to have that effect on in the studio. So, the vocals agreeing with it as you get your takes. That's what I would suggest. Um, so, yeah, in this case, um, I don't always even touch the human eyes. Sometimes I keep that off. But next to you, can't believe. This shit is real. Don't have to fake it. Okay, let's get a uh, let's understand some of these other things. So, formant. But next to you. So a hundred is her normal, like, tone to her voice. When you start cranking it up. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. It gives it that deepness. Uh, if you're going for some sort of like effect, this is really only done with an effect. Uh, you've heard it probably in a lot of pop songs and stuff. You just crank that up. It makes it deep without uh, changing the key. And what's cool about Formant is, you know, say you were to take this an octave down because you want to keep the singing in the same key, right? It kind of see how it just kind of gets uh, just inaudible. It just sounds weird. So format or throat, I should say, under the format being on, uh, it makes it to where it gets deep but still audible. But next to you, can't believe this. It's not quite as deep, but gives it that. And then going the other way. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. Not like a chipmunk. But next to you. Not a very popular uh, format setting. A lot of people don't use that. But it's there if you need it. Uh, transpose, that's exactly what it says. Like you could bring it down a whole key. So say you were to say you were to shift the instrumental down uh, two semitones. And you, you know, want the vocals to go down with it. So you would just put that to minus two. But next but beware, though, because when that happens, it kind of can mess with the tone of the voice. So that's why you can kind of mess with the throat some. But Let's take the instrumental off since I did. But next to you, can't so this would be a different uh, key. 
But next to you, I can't believe this shit is real. Don't have to fake it's not so lovely. Deal. Gonna have to pull away. And no, we working through the distance, we're still dripping light. Really changes it. I mean, even with the throat adjusted, it just doesn't, you know. So I would probably suggest Melodyne or just re redoing it if that was the case. But it's there if you're going for effects. We working through the distance, we're still dripping light. Tracking, this is like just how, how, uh, you know, how much it's picking up the source. We working through the distance, we're still dripping light. No knows go stop for seeing us, let up and fly. Yeah. But you're the best to me, yeah. That's why you're next to me. Not a huge difference right here, but uh, could be something you might want to play with, but I normally keep it right there. So, uh, advanced, you can go here, and you know, sometimes if your voice, if the voice is going to a note that's maybe a different note in the key, and it's not the right note for the melody, and it doesn't happen anywhere else in the song you can remove it so say say her voice is slip into C sharp on accident and there's no intentional C sharp anywhere in the song just bypass it that easy we working through the distance we're still dripping light no knows go stop for seeing us let up and fly you're the best to me, yeah. That's why you're next to me, oh. That's cause you care for me, you get me. It's like you know. Lately I've been seeing, feeling you. Cool, so. That's advanced. Uh, this stuff, you can create vibratos. Um. I usually only do that with automation, so, so uh, you can hold on a Mac Control, Option, and Command, and enable automation. So, say there's like certain there's a section in the song that has like different parts that you want to do like kind of like a crazy vibrato on, and it wasn't really there from the performance. You can automate these parameters to to do that same with like the shape so right now there's no vibrato you you can automate um can you automate i guess not i guess you would just turn on you would turn on the type of shape you want we working through the distance we're still dripping light no knows go stop for seeing us let up and fly yeah but you're the best to me yeah that's why you're next to me, oh. That's cause you care for me, you get me. It's like you know. Yeah, you can't really hear anything when you just set these settings, so you really have to just automate certain things and, and play with it. It's a lot to play with, so. Moving on to graph mode or graphic, graphic mode. This here is really a great, great function. So when you when you want to do things like, you know, the right way, or say that the auto-tune is just not giving you the right result and things are just getting pulled around, you can put it over to graphic mode, click pitch. Right next to you Scan it. Can't believe this shit is real Don't have to fake as naturally Okay Zooming is pretty important here it's pr That's a pretty good zoom level there So right here, the plus and minus 
and then up here I like to take it off auto scroll it really messes me up so take off auto scroll right next to you can't believe I think this vocal might have been tuned but we can still mess with it right next to you can't believe this shit so right here you can see that was a little sharp you could just take this tool this object tool scan over it but right next to you can't believe this shit but right next to you and once you have like once that box is uh, highlighted you can turn up the retune speed to straighten the line see how the line just goes completely straight but right next to you can't believe this shit is see you can tighten up the retune speed if it's just like one word like that and it doesn't sound really unnatural so sometimes I do that but next to you can't believe this so just but find little points but next to you can't believe this shit is but next to you can't believe this shit is but next to you can't believe this shit is so tight but next to you can't believe this shit is real. so and then something like this if you want to keep that vibrato I like the line tool click once highlight over and then click again double click and then to keep that vibrato you can just loosen up on that you can loosen up on that Reaching speed. But next to you, can't believe this shit is real. Perfect. Well, guys, that is it for today. Uh, hopefully, you understand the ins and out of Auto Tune more, and just know that it can be for a natural sound or an affected sound. You can use it both. So. Um, yeah, guys, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my products at perfectvocalsacademy.com slash products. And I will be dropping a course pretty soon, um, working on a very extensive course to teach all about vocal engineering. So until next time.